Hello, my lovely friends. I got 2,000 views on a TikTok video the other day, and I'm really annoyed about it. If you want to know why, keep listening. Hi there. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Lisa Oliver. I am an MM Paranormal Romance author, and I have been self-publishing for 10 years and have over 100 titles to my name. Now, recently, my daughter had said I needed to get onto TikTok. I didn't know why. I clearly don't have the face for TikTok. I don't dance. I don't have a funny cat. But never to mind. She had said, give it a try, mum. Go on there. So I did. I was on TikTok and I followed a few authors, you know, that I found on there, which was really cool. I could get to see what they were up to. Um, I Some of my readers were on there, which was really sweet as well. So, you know, they always dipped in and said hi and commented on my videos, which was really sweet. And I would probably get about, 2000, uh, about 200 views per video. But you see, one of the key aspects about marketing is learning what works and what doesn't, particularly when you're a self-publisher, because you're responsible for everything from the creation of your book, your writing and everything else, through to the marketing process. And as I say, TikTok is not my preferred marketing platform. Now, to me, the link between books and readers and then platforms like TikTok or even YouTube, YouTube to a certain degree, um, to me, it's a bit bumpy. Yes, they there has been some um, amazing success, success stories. Gosh, I can't even get my words out this morning. Success stories by authors who've, you know, who perhaps are on TikTok and their book got picked up by some influencer or what have you, and then all of a sudden they're making, you know, mega thousands of sales, which is awesome. Um, but when you put it in perspective, um, and you think about the thousands of books that are published every single week, and you weigh that up against the chances of a TikTok influencer actually being interested in your genre and being interested in your specific title. As I say, it's just not something that I hinge my book sales on. Um, and it's, you know, the same that I do know that... Um, both TikTok and YouTube have been helpful to some authors um, on, you know, because they're personable and they're funny and they're informative um, and they talk a lot about their books and I'm sure that must equate to sales. I don't know. It's just that from a visibility perspective, it would be logical to assume that it does. Um, but I don't have any data on that. I know that for me personally, because I talk more about the process than I do about my own work, that I don't see any, you know, positive or negative impacts on my book sales. I don't think that has anything to do with my YouTube or my TikTok presence. And the thing is, is that I do think it's really important for self-published authors um, to know where their sales are coming from, like what methods they're using are actually working. Um, for example, I use, I post on social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram, obviously. Um, I not only post promotional posts on there, I also share an awful lot of my life and I really cultivate friendships with my readers in those places. Like as I've mentioned before, I have a um, private Facebook group that is just for my readers. Um, I, you know, also have a page, I have a profile, I share bits and pieces about my life and this sort of thing. And I encourage my readers, you know, I learn about my readers crafting and things like that, because of course I craft as well. So it's all, it's, you know, these people become my friends and that's really cool. So if I happen to pop in and say, oh, hey, by the way, I've got this book coming out. Well, they've already heard about it. They already know it's coming. I've built that anticipation and they're really excited for me when it comes out. Those sorts of things, plus my Patreon, my blog and my newsletter, they are all ways that I can connect to my readers personally, which is a huge it's a huge bonus when it comes to selling your books. 
So, and then again, on the, the paid side of things, I advertise on Amazon, um, not often, I will admit, not often, but every now and again, I'll do a brand awareness or a specific, like if I finished a series, for example, I'll do a series awareness um, advert through Amazon. A lot of times they pan, they actually ban my my books from from advertising. So yeah, some of those things. There's a video about it. You can definitely look for that. But anyway, as I say, so then you know we came back to TikTok. See, when I do Amazon ads, I know where my clicks are coming from. I know what keywords have worked and everything else like that. As I say, I know what works in my social media efforts because I'm getting interaction with the fans and and my readers, and that sort of, you know, that sh reflects in my sales data. So then TikTok came along, and as I say, my daughter was all, oh, well, you should give it a try, Mum. It's easy, just a couple of seconds a day and you're done. Now, as I say, I have a lived-in face. I am 62 years old, and I'm not ashamed to say so on a public platform. You know, I stopped being skinny a long time ago, and I'm not what you'd call the life and soul of a party. So I convey my passions, my emotions, and everything else in my stories. I can do that with words on a page, the words that I type, but when I'm speaking it, yeah, it's not as easy. <laughs> but you know, so I went on to TikTok because, you know, my daughter was right. It's very quick and easy to do. Um, anybody can do it. And sometimes, well, you know, because obviously you have to go onto the platform to be able to upload your, your video, or at least I do. I don't know if there's a way you can do it so you don't. But, yeah, so I'm always seeing other people's videos and... <sighs> Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not impressed with a lot of things I've seen on TikTok. I'll leave it at that because, you know, everybody is entitled to express themselves in their own way. And as I say, I have seen some quite funny videos um, from authors who are actually really clever and who talk about their, their characters or actually, you know, act out their characters and things like that. And they are hilarious and they're very, very clever at what they do. But 90% of what I happen to glance at as I'm trying to get to the upload button, I wonder why those people even got out of bed that morning. So anyway, as I say, my results were what was expected. You know, I get a couple of hundred views and I know that that's really good because I'm not known, you know, um, but I post work in progress snippets. I post views out of my office window some of my craft stuff. I posted shorts about my Christmas tree and they got reported. I don't know why. I still don't know why. But three of my videos on TikTok got banned for violating community guidelines when, yeah, everybody knows I, <laughs> I, I'm not capable of violating anything. They did get put back, so I'm just figuring that somebody didn't like me being on the platform, whatever. It doesn't really matter. But um, so anyway... I, I'm currently on holiday while I'm recording this. I'm currently on a daughter-enforced writing holiday because um, my daughter was a little bit upset to learn that I hadn't taken my holiday over Christmas, so I'm having one now. And when I was chatting to her, we sort of had a call to catch up on everything else like that, and I was saying about, no, that's fine. I'm going to be an artist this week, not a writer, um, which is actually something I've always dreamed of being able to do. And I felt that I had the need to be windswept and interesting. And it was the joke about that type of artist that I would probably be, because in our household, windswept and interesting means you look the part, but you have the skills of a lizard. And she, we were laughing and joking about it. She says, Holly, my daughter, she says, oh, you need to do a TikTok about it. And we were trying to work out how I could get the windswept look because it's the middle of summer here and you, you know, you don't get a breeze at all. So, you know, we had fun laughing and joking about it, talking about hair dryers and, you know, big fans and things like that. It was really quite hard case. But so when I was thinking about it the next day, I thought, okay, fine. Um, I'll do a little snippet saying that I wanted to be wind windswept and interesting, but I couldn't find a breeze. So, um, you know, 
just talking like I am here. I uploaded it, tagged my daughter so she could see it, and then I left it, just left it at that, and, you know, it's all good. And when I went to put up my video the next day, I couldn't believe it. I had got 10 times more views on that one video than I had on anything else. And here's where the annoying part is. I have no idea why. I just, I don't know whether it just randomly caught somebody's eye or whether TikTok was having that good day. Um, you know, I mean, 2,000 views is nothing. I also appreciate that, okay. But, you know, it's, <laughs> I, I that, yeah, no, that is such a small number when you think of the millions of views so many people get on their on their videos on TikTok. But for me, that being 10%, uh, 10 times more than I normally get, I wanted to know why. I wanted to know what was it that pushed me forward. I don't know. Maybe TikTok was having a find an old lady to laugh at day. I really don't know. But you see, the thing is, is that when you are marketing, it is really important to learn what works and what doesn't. And um, I'm in the bit of the dark about this one. So if anybody watching this knows why that video on TikTok got so many views, like so many more than normal, I don't expect it to last. I'm figuring it's just that random video just you know made something different. Then, yeah. Maybe somebody will be able to tell me, what is it that makes a TikTok video go viral? What makes a YouTube video go viral? But understanding how your marketing efforts work is vitally important to what you do when you're selling your books. So not knowing about this is really annoying. However, I'll also point out, that, um, yeah, I don't think it resulted in any extra sales on my book either, but never to mind. So if you have any comments, please drop them in the uh, comment box below. Do you have experience on TikTok? Do you find it helpful for selling your books? How do you market the books that you've got? Um, do you have a viral video and do you know how it made it that way? Let me know in the comments below. Let's have a chat about this. And in the meantime, if you did like this and I made you smile, please hit the like button. If you think you'd like to learn more about how you can write and market your book, um, your own book this year in 2024, please hit subscribe. And in the meantime, please hug the ones you love, my friends. And we'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.